Hey guys, so this is um, the person who runs Alexander D. Perot on Instagram and I was asked by someone in the comments if I could give a tutorial of how I make uh, the photos that I post on Instagram where they have a little white line border and then a solid background. Um, so I've never done a YouTube video before or a tutorial, so I hope this goes okay and do please comment if you have any questions. Uh, so pretty much what I do is I'll have my photos, I take them with a Nikon D5000 DSLR. Um, I, for the sake of most of my doll photos, I simply just take them at the um, smallest size possible. I, you don't need them really super huge. I'm not planning on ever printing these or anything. Uh, they're mostly for web purposes, um, so the small size is perfectly fine. So I use Photoshop in this case um, to do the borders. There are, are other applications um, that you can install on your phone or your iPod or whatever else you have. But in my case, my iPod's old, it's kind of dying, and I prefer working on my desktop. So here I have opened a random photo, um, as you can see here in Photoshop. <clears throat> Since it is a JPEG, it is by default a locked background uh, layer, so what we'll need to do is um, first do some editing here. So the editing is really not as much editing as one would think. So pretty much I first end up uh, re slightly resizing the image, so I go under um, image and I select image size. Um, so after selecting image size, as you can see here, the image um, the image was a little bit bigger, so I changed the larger number to a maximum of 1600 pixels. If you don't have pixel set in Photoshop, um, be sure to check to change it to pixels instead of inches or centimeters or something along those lines since it is for the web and the web we love pixels. So I changed it to 1600 pixels, you click OK and the image will be slightly resized now. Uh, next, as I mentioned, since it is a JPEG file, um, the current layer is a locked layer, so I need to release that layer from being a locked background layer. So under Layers, I then select the option of Make a New Layer from Background. So I select that. Um, it will come up with a little pop-up as asking about this new layer. You can name it if you want, but for my purposes, since I'm not working with multiple layers, I really don't care. And so I just leave it the default name that they suggest to me and then click OK. So the next um, thing I have to do is, since our photos that we post on Instagram by default are square, we need to make our canvas square now. So then we go under, again, the image, go to canvas size, and we make our canvas now a perfect 1600 by 1600 pixel square. So I changed that smaller value, which was originally 1,063 pixels, up to 1,600 pixels. And then click OK, and now we have a square canvas. So next, um, we have to add a couple more, another layer in. Um, that's where I put that solid colored background uh, for my photos. So simply, again, go under Layer, uh, New Layer and it will produce a new layer again, name it whatever you want, and click OK. Then the layer will appear on the side under Layers, and um, I make sure that it is underneath my dial photo. Next, I end up just filling the entire layer with a solid color, which you pick um, if you look at the left. Uh, there's the color options there, and you can pick whatever color it is you um, would like it to be. I just picked a very light gray here in this case. And then we go to the paint uh, bucket option, um, which you can see uh, selected on your left. And then just make sure that I have the current layer selected and fill in that layer. So now we have this solid gray uh, layer that's now underneath, or it looks like to the right of the doll picture. So next, uh, we have to add that white border in, the white line in. So what I do for that is I select the, pic the dial picture layer and double click, and it will come up with layer the layer style options. I go down to stroke, um, select stroke, 
um, change the size to 15 pixels and also change the color to white. Click OK, click OK, and now we have this white line. So last th uh, one of the last things is since uh, the picture was slightly resized, it has become a little bit blurry, so I just go under um, Go to uh, fix the picture and just sharpen it a bit. So just fit, go under sharpen, um, pick sharpen, and just select the default sharpen option. And that's perfectly enough for the purpose it is a posting on Instagram. So one of the last things, which is entirely optional, is I include a watermark um, just due to having some of my photos um, stolen before in the past. Um, I don't really appreciate this, so i rather just be safe and sorry with my photos. So for this, I then select a text layer and change the color to pure white. Um, above, you can change, at the very top, you can change what the text color is. I also select uh, the font that I want to use. In my case, I use Violation. Um, I got this from debomp.com, but you can use whatever font you'd like to use. And then promptly type in my text. Um, then I pick the move tool, which is the very top tool, um, on, as you can see on the left, and move it to wherever I feel is appropriate given the picture itself. Finally, I change the opacity of the text layer down um, from 100% down to 60%, uh, which you can do um, under the layers panel. And then we have our final picture and just have to save it now for the web. So we go under File, uh, Save for Web and Devices. Um, I just picked, uh, I want JPEG, I pick maximum or 100% quality. And then just select where I want to save it to. In this case, I'm just saving it to the desktop. Uh, I rename it just as example for the purpose of this video and click Save. So if I double check now on the desktop, I have my picture there, and sure enough, there it is. So then from that point, I just upload it on my phone. Um, I'm sure those who have worked with, the, worked with DSLRs know how to move their uh, pictures that they're editing from their computer to their phone, so however you do it, um, you can do that. And then I post it on Instagram. So thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial was useful, and it was all right, even though I really don't make YouTube videos, that's not my specialty at all. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, and uh, thank you for watching.